Hi, welcome to our company titled Le Amor Enterprise, where we loving our healthy lifestyle. Our company is focusing on selling varieties of fruits as a snack as we promote healthier food for the customers. Our mission is to help customers on choosing a healthier food and for our vision, we want to be the handpicked by our customers as the supplier of the health. This is the logo of our company. The five fruits represent the main fruits we are going to sell. We also will sell other type of fruits if requested by our customers. The title Le Amour is the definition of love in France. This is our business model. The first key of the business model is the value propositions which is about for ourselves and for home. Value proposition is about product we sell, which in this case is variety of fresh fruits with affordable price and we focus more on selling the products to the students and staffs in UPM. Value proposition also involves solving customer needs in order to satisfy them. To solve it, we need to know what pain the customer have and gain we can acquire. The pain of customer is about to face a hard time by finding fruit snacks around the campus especially when they had limited time. Therefore, by selling fruits, we will gain a support from the customer as they will create a demand for fruit snacks. This this will definitely satisfy the needs of customers. The second key point is customer segment. For the customer segment, we need to think about who are we going to sell, why we choose that type of person, and also the place we target to do our business. For the target business location, we selected mainly around the UPM campus, which are the college, faculty, as well as around area. For the target customer, we choose the student and staff mainly because they stay the near target location. It is also easy for us to sell and deliver the product to them. Another reason is because of the lack of snack fruit for the student and staff. The next key for business model is channel. Channel is the important key for products to get to the customer. How are we going to sell and distribute our products to the customer? There are two types of channel which is physical and virtual. Physical channel involve physical distribution and delivery service, while virtual channel involve creating social media accounts such as Instagram and WhatsApp and also create a virtual poster. As the company receives orders through social media, we will alert the delivery man to deliver the products to the customer. We also do physical distribution where we place our products in certain places in some faculty and let the buyer buy it and collect the money after a few hours. So this is a business card we create for our company. And this is also a social media account which is Instagram that we create to promote our business. The fourth key will be the customer relationship which we need to get, keep and grow the customer. How to keep get and grow customer. First, to get customer, we must make a promotion and convey it through social platform like WhatsApp. Secondly, we should prepare a tester for customer to test our product. This can be result with satisfying the customer and make them buy our product. What do we need to do keep our customer? Well, we can always keep updating about our menu through our Instagram account as well as WhatsApp group. We can also create a super deal where we could attract more people such as making special offer or giving free gift to the customer or lower price for the customer that buy in a bulk. How to grow our customer? First, we should be joining more special event or festival like food event so that we can sell our product there. Other than that, we also should always make interaction with the buyers by answering their feedback and show ways to appreciate them. The next key point would be revenue streams. Revenue streams show the way or method of the company to gain money. Revenue stream is presenting the cash a company generates from each customer segment. Moreover, the revenue stream helps the company to identify the contribution 
overall revenues and profits from the products. How do we generate our income? Having a basic capital from each partner of the company, we invested in terms of selling our main products and other items on menu. Plus, we offer a service which is delivery where we charge a small amount of fees within the range of 5 ringgit and below. Thus, the income of the selling will be rotated and help us in dealing expenses of our products. We only sell the same items? No, we are not. We discovered that there will be special and limited time of office or promotion for the new items. Not to forget to mention that we come out with the value set as we do not want to burn a hole in our customer's pocket. The next key is resource. Resource involves setting important asset to make a good business model. Resource is about important asset that require to make a good business model such as finance, physical plan, intellectual properties, and human contributions. First asset would be finance. Finance involves the capital and bank credit. For our business, we collect 20 ringgit from each shareholder to open the business. We do not have a bank credit as our business is more on the cash on delivery. Next asset is the physical plan which involves the use of motorcycle for delivery process. We also use grab car or rapid KL to grab from our place to our supplier to retrieve the supplies. Intellectualist is the one of the asset which we prefer to have a customer list which now we focus more on UPM student and staff. The last asset would be human contributions which basically we only use the service of the each shareholder and the supplier without any outsider help. The seventh key is the partners involved in our business model. Knowing the collaboration made with certain people. Our company is a shareholder company with each if the individual has their own service. The director would be Madi and the deputy director is Hana, followed by Tasha as a secretary and Asfa and Izati as the financial management. The marketing management led by Aida, while the operation team is Farah and Anis. The delivery management is tasked to Alif and Hanif. We also receive supplies from Hero Mart as our supplier which store is located at Sri Serdang, Selangor. The second last key will be the activities which required to be done in our business such as marketing, promoting, manage website, online order and delivery. Activities is the most important things to do in a business model as it is determining the flow on how the business operates, starting from planning until restocking. Planning must be the start of the business follow up by buying ingredients, productions, receive order, delivery, and restock. Activities that need social media handling are marketing, promoting, creating visual poster, updating company menu, promotion season, and respond to customer feedbacks. Another activity is creating business card. The final key of business model is the cost which we as company must know the cost and expenses of our business model. Cost structure is a cash flow of our company toward the cost and expenses we have. What are the main costs and expenses of our company? It involves the ingredient and material use to make our product as well as the cost of transportation. We also must know the expensive resource that we must pay for, which in our case would be the physical plan. Physical plan involves transportation of the delivery team and also transportation used by operation team to go and buy product. Some activities in the company also require to use money such as business card. Therefore, we must produce a lot of card and use a lot of money. Other than that, we also use money in delivering and also buying material. The company is also required to know their fit and variable costs. Our fit cost would be salaries. We have agreed to receive 5% of the income from the product as our salaries, while variable cost is the cost of material we need for our business. Knowing economic scale is also required for our company so that 
we can set pricing for our products. Example of the pricing would be a big cup of cutted fruit will be sold for 3 ringgit Malaysia as this is the value used by most seller. We as sellers are not only concerned with profit but we encourage the community to adopt a healthy diet as fruits give many benefits. In the future, we will be also selling items based on fruits which we want to take the customers to another level of pleasure.